Spain's decision to modernize its Alvaro de Bazan, Class F-100 frigates marks a significant milestone in the evolution of the country's naval capabilities and reflects a broader European trend toward extending the service life of key surface combatants. Approved by the Spanish Council of Ministers, the midlife upgrade program is valued at €3.2 billion Euros and will span a full decade from the moment of contract signing. This long-term approach underlines both the complexity of the work required and the strategic importance of the F-100 class, which has served as the backbone of the Spanish Navy's air defense and escort capabilities for more than two decades. Originally commissioned between 2002 and 2012, these ships are now approaching the midpoint of their operational life cycle, making the modernization program not just timely but essential for maintaining fleet relevance into the mid-21st century. The decision to launch such an extensive upgrade is rooted in several pressing factors. First, threat environments in the maritime domain have changed dramatically since the F-100S were first introduced. When the class entered service, the primary focus was on conventional air and surface threats, but today the operational spectrum includes advanced anti-ship missiles, electronic warfare challenges, unmanned systems, and growing anti-access-slash-area denial capabilities from potential adversaries. At the same time, naval coalitions such as NATO rely increasingly on interoperability, shared digital architectures, and advanced battle management systems. These realities make it imperative for Spain to ensure that its Aegis-equipped frigates can continue to operate effectively alongside U.S. and European partners. The modernization program will be carried out at the Ria de Ferrol shipyard, a facility deeply linked to Spanish naval shipbuilding and the Navancha Industrial Group. Up to 3,500 jobs will be supported by the project, highlighting not only the military value of the upgrade but also its economic and political significance. The program falls under Spain's Industrial and Technological Security and Defense Plan, approved in April, which seeks to sustain national shipbuilding expertise and enhance strategic autonomy by ensuring critical technologies remain under domestic control. This is consistent with broader European efforts to strengthen defense industrial bases amid increasing geopolitical uncertainty. Much of the F-100S reputation stems from their pioneering adoption of the Aegis Combat Management System, making them the first European ships to integrate this powerful U.S. system. This decision positioned Navancha as a leader in complex naval platforms and opened the door to several major export successes, including Australia's Hobart-class destroyers and Norway's Fridtjof Nansen-class frigates. As a result, the F-100 modernization will not only sustain Spain's naval capabilities but also reinforce its position in the international market for advanced surface combatants. The upgrade is expected to bring system unification across the class, reduce maintenance costs, and extend operational flexibility, ensuring the ships remain attractive reference platforms for future foreign procurement programs. Although many details of the modernization package remain undisclosed for security reasons, the primary goals are clear, eliminating technological obsolescence, integrating updated sensors, improving communication systems, enhancing propulsion efficiency, and ensuring compliance with modern environmental regulations. These enhancements are necessary to guarantee that the ships remain capable of countering evolving missile threats, participating in ballistic missile defense networks, and supporting expeditionary operations as demanded by Spain's commitments to NATO and EU missions. The F-100 class has always been formidable in terms of its armament and capabilities. With a displacement of roughly 5,800 to 6,400 tons, a 146-meter length, and a top speed of 28.5 knots, the ships were designed as robust multi-mission platforms with an emphasis on air defense. Their MK-45 127mm naval gun, MK-32 torpedo launchers armed with MK-46 torpedoes, harpoon anti-ship missiles, and a sophisticated layered air defense suite based on the MK-41 vertical launching system give them significant combat strength. The frigates can deploy up to 32 standard surface-to-air missiles, 64 RIM, 162 ESSM missiles for point and medium-range defense, and operate an SH-60 Seahawk helicopter for anti-submarine warfare and maritime patrol. 
This balanced mix of firepower, survivability, and sensor integration has enabled the class to serve as critical escorts for high-value assets, participate in multinational task groups, and operate globally. However, as advanced as the F-100S were at their introduction, naval warfare has evolved rapidly. The integration of new-generation radar systems, modernized electronic warfare suites, upgraded propulsion controls, and improved command and control networks will be essential for sustaining their competitiveness. It is likely that the modernization program will include enhancements to the Aegis system, potentially aligning it with developments seen on U.S. Navy destroyers and allied Aegis platforms. Any such upgrades would maintain Spain's ability to contribute meaningfully to missile defense missions and high-readiness NATO formations. Another key element of the modernization is the effort to unify systems across all five ships. Over two decades of operations, incremental updates and maintenance cycles have produced minor differences among the frigates. Standardizing these systems will simplify logistics, reduce the long-term support burden, and improve operational coherence within the fleet. Equally important are the planned improvements in energy efficiency and environmental compliance. As global navies adopt stricter emission standards and seek to reduce fuel consumption, upgrading engines, automation, and shipboard power management becomes both a strategic and financial necessity. From a geopolitical perspective, Spain's investment in the F-100 modernization reflects Europe's growing recognition that naval power will play an increasingly central role in deterrence and crisis response. As tensions persist across the Mediterranean, North Africa, and the North Atlantic, the ability to deploy high-end surface combatants becomes a fundamental requirement. Spain's location at the crossroads of the Mediterranean and Atlantic gives it unique strategic responsibilities, and maintaining a capable fleet is vital for safeguarding maritime trade routes, contributing to coalition operations, and responding to hybrid threats such as drone attacks, cyber intrusions, and irregular maritime activities. The decade-long timeline of the modernization demonstrates both ambition and caution. It allows Spain to manage financial expenditures over an extended period while ensuring each frigate can undergo deep refit without causing a sudden drop in fleet availability. By extending the service life of the F-100S to roughly 2045, Spain also gains more flexibility in planning the eventual procurement of next-generation surface combatants. With the new F-110 frigates already entering construction, Spain is gradually building a balanced, modern fleet that combines advanced sensor technology, improved anti-submarine warfare features, and high-capacity weapon systems. In essence, the F-100 modernization program is more than a technical upgrade, it is a strategic signal. It communicates Spain's commitment to remain a capable maritime power, to uphold NATO obligations, and to maintain a strong domestic defense industry. As European states increasingly invest in fleet renewal and modernization, Spain's approach stands as an example of how midlife upgrades can extend the effectiveness of key platforms while supporting national industrial capability. Over the coming decade, the Alvaro de Bazan-class frigates will transform from early 2000s air defense workhorses into modern multi-role combatants ready to face the complex security challenges of the 2040s.